In 2024, we have so many games right at our fingertips with only so much time in life. Money can be tight and maybe you can only buy two full price games a month and don't want to waste your money, so what does any person looking into games do? You watch reviews and see what other people are saying about the game you are looking into. You watch reviews and you see what other people are saying about the games when well, now you're just not so excited and you don't seem to want to play this game anymore because everyone is saying it's bad. Next scenario, it's a game that, again, you were really excited about and it drops and it's got a mixed rating. Well, again, you're not going to be excited to play it anymore. What about older games from your childhood that you loved and now in 2024, everyone is saying it's a bad game? Well, because everyone is crapping on it, you start to question yourself. Shit, what if this game is bad and maybe I'm wrong and it sucks? Well, maybe everyone's right. Well, guess what? You are letting everyone else's opinion affect your own. There is such a thing as being in the opposite crowd where you are able to look past the shortcomings of a bad game or you find enjoyment out of some of these mid games. There is such a thing as being the opposite crowd where you are able to look past the shortcomings of a game or find enjoyment out of some of these mid games. We don't allow ourselves the opportunity to try things because we ebb and flow with the popular opinion. So many great games have bad reviews or so many mid games can be great for you and not others. I have skipped so many great games because I saw a few bad reviews or I've questioned my own opinions on games that I love just because other people said that they were bad. I've been extremely excited about upcoming games just for it to get a 6 or a low 7 and think well I better not waste my time with this game, it might be a waste of my time and money. This following a popular opinion stops us from experimenting with games or experiencing things we may have loved just because the internet says it's not that great. I love Elder Scrolls Online, yet so many people shit on it because they hate the combat. I personally really like the combat in Elder Scrolls Online and I'm in a small camp of people that feel that way. However, side note, ESO is way too easy and I really wish they would do something about that. But let's move on. I was able to find enjoyment out of the original Lords of the Fallen, even though most people say it's dog water. And yeah, I agree, but I still thought it was a bit of fun. So many low rated games that I have played that most people hate are in my favorite games to playlist. I also really don't like some games that everyone loves like the Horizon series. I just couldn't get into Horizon Forbidden West, but most people think it's one of the greatest games of all time. Shadow Warriors 3 and Necromunda Higher Gun were two games most people criticized and said that they were mid, but I thought were great AA games that should have got more love. What I'm trying to say is sometimes it's good to just ignore what other people are saying, and if there's a game that you think looks dope and got super pumped about, maybe you should ignore the reviews and try it for yourself. Let you decide what you like. Let yourself be the judge of the game, unless of course everyone is saying it's incredibly broken and unplayable then of course steer clear of it also i'm not saying reviewers are wrong or that they shouldn't be listened to at all what i am saying is that sometimes it's okay to ignore what the popular opinion is and give it a shot anyway you might love the game and find an experience you didn't know you needed in your life also if there is a game in your life that you loved but the whole world is shitting on it don't take it to the heart and just continue to love your shitty game it's okay to like shitty games i love so many shitty games and will continue to love them i will be open and honest though i have fallen victim to also letting everyone else's opinion affect my own opinion and that's why i watch reviews for a second opinion not my opinion I can't wait for Dragon Age Valguard, and I think it looks great, but the game is getting a lot of hate. I can't wait for Visions of Mana, however, the demo on PC has some controller input issues. Also, Lords of the Fallen, after all the updates, is a great Souls-like that I will be making a deep dive on at some point this year. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, peace out.